That's right, I did, Candace. And at this time, the police chief said he was not ready to make a comment. Now, that protester I spoke to says he is glad that they made those retractions, but he's still disappointed without, with how all of this played out. It's an empty field. <laughs> Corey Goss laughs about it now, seeing what's become of the space where he used to gather in protest. I think the people that experienced it, they'll never forget it. One demonstration in particular sticks out to him. It was June 1st, 2020. We had just got done protesting from Broad Street and we're walking up. Big crowd. Goss says he was standing on the pedestal of the Robert E. Lee statue, speaking out against racial injustice and police brutality following the death of George Floyd. And, and they kept saying repeatedly from the stage, the monument that they were standing on, was that we're here for love, we're here for unity. And then seemingly out of nowhere, Goss says Richmond police officers show up and tear gas the crowd. I was scared for my life and I was coughing and sneezing. Um, running at the same time, trying to make sure the people that I'm with are okay. And it was just like chaos. At the time, Richmond police tweeted they had to deploy gas because, quote, some RPD officers in that area were cut off by violent protesters. We were peaceful. We didn't do anything wrong. We were well within our rights. And now RPD admits on Twitter their previous statement from two years ago is false and there was no need for tear gas. The retraction ordered in a lawsuit settlement between protesters and the city of Richmond. Why would you wait two years, first of all, for the truth to come out? And then secondly, what is the point? During a police press conference Wednesday to discuss the prevention of a mass shooting, Chief Gerald Smith, who was brought on after the statue incident, did not want to answer questions about this. Moving forward and learning from that situation, have communication protocols within the police department been reviewed so that, you know, information that's being released to the public is accurate. Given this situation and what we're dealing with now, I'm going to give it its all due respect and every attention that it deserves, and I'll answer your question at a later time. In a statement, Mayor LaVar Stoney, who met with upset protesters the day following the incident in 2020, says he's happy a resolution was reached and called it a learning opportunity for the city. You have to get the story right, right? Like you're in a trusted position. And you have to do what you were paid to do and what you're saying that you wanted to do, which was protect and serve your community. And the settlement will also require body camera footage from that day, along with other police records to be made available to the public through the Library of Virginia.